episode of Speech Musics with Anne. So today we will be talking about five easy ways by which you can improve your child's expressive language. So you must uh, all be knowing what exactly is expressive language. Expressive language is how the child will communicate his needs or want. So that exactly is called as expressive language. So today we'll be talking about five easy steps or five easy ways in how you can improve this expression of the language. So moving on directly to the points, we'll move on to the first point. Now the first point is that you have to sing it out. Sing it out meaning whenever you speak something to the child, make sure that you're always talking to them in a very sing song pattern. So that, that pattern is called a sing song pattern. Okay, so rather than casually talking to them or to, rather than talking in a very monotonous way or in a very normal way, whenever you talk to them in a sing-song manner, what happens is that it captures the child's attention much more. And so therefore what happens is the child understands better and hence his language also uh, improves. That means his expression of the language will improve. Okay, so how one example that I can give, there, I can give you is that, uh, for example, rhymes. Okay, so rhymes is called as a mnemonic device. So what is a mnemonic device? Mnemonic device meaning rhyme, whenever you sing a rhyme, there is a lot of fluctuations, a lot of rhythm that is involved, a lot of melody that is involved. So whenever you uh, sing a rhyme to them, so they understand it better, they also remember it better than when you know casually talking to them or when normally talking to them. So for example, you want to teach them some concept, okay? So if you talk to them in a sing-song manner, they understand better. So rather than when you talk to them in a normal pattern, so they can understand better, they can remember better and hence they can express the language much better. So that is the first point that is sing song pattern. And also one thing you have to remember is that you have to use visual cues along with the sing song pattern that you're using. So you can use a lot of uh, you know facial gestures, a lot of expressions, all that has to be used whenever you're talking in this method. So this is one important tip by which you can improve your child's expressive language. So uh, one of the main methods by which you can do that is using rhymes. Rhymes is very important. It can help improve the child's early literacy skills or to improve the child's early vocabulary skills. So I hope you all understood about the first point that is talking in sing song pattern. Now moving on to the second easy method by which you can improve your child's expression. So that is Whatever you speak to them, try to make a commentary about it. Like for example, uh, there is something of interest in the child's hand. So he is roaming around the house for example and he is taking a ball in his hand. So what you can do is that you can keep talking about it or make a live commentary about it. Like for example, you are doing something. Maybe you are making uh, chapati in the house. So you can say what exactly is the procedure or what are the steps involved in making a chapati. So right from the beginning to the end. So involve the child in that activity and tell him what is happening from the beginning to the end. So here you might be thinking that you know what is use of me talking alone if he is not responding. But that is not the way he is listening, he is understanding all that is happening simultaneously. So only if the child is able to listen properly, only if he is able to understand properly can he improve his expression. So that connection is very important. So make sure that whenever you are doing something, try to give a live commentary. Like how the cricket commentary goes on. Okay, so whenever one, some, something is happening, immediately there is a commentary about it. So same thing as parents, what you have to do is that whenever you are doing something at home, Try telling about it. Like for example, uh, you're going to do the laundry. So you can say, see, I'm going to take the laundry. I'm going to keep put it into the washing machine. Then I'm going to put soap powder. So this is an example. And also make sure that you use very simple terms. Do not use very complicated terms or sentences. Go for very simple terms. Use lots of facial expressions, lots of facial gestures, you know, hand movements, everything so that the child can understand better. So whenever you're doing some action, Try to associate it with a word so the child understands the association between the action and the word. So that is a very easy way with how you can increase the child's expressive language. So you, uh, the child understands in this way, the child is listening and also the child is expressing. So here basically three stages happen. In the first stage what happens is that the child only listens or only understands. So at that time he might not respond. But you do not have to worry about it because he's actually developing language even in that stage also. In the second stage, what happens is that he will try to imitate whatever you're saying. Okay, so those words you were saying in the commentary, he might try to imitate it. Or he might try to do the same actions that you have done, he might try to do it. 
So that's the second stage. And finally, the third stage, what he does is that he'll try to sell everything on his own without any imitation. You do not have to give any command. He will do it everything on his own. So that is how exactly the language development happens when this particular technique is used. So this particular technique is where you're giving a live commentary or you keep giving commentaries about what is happening at that particular time. Okay, so this is the second easy method by which you can improve your child's expressive language. So hope you understood about the second point. Second point is making commentaries about each and everything that you do or what the child does. So moving on to the third easy method by which you can improve your child's language, expressive language. This is where this game is called as the expansion game. So it's a very easy game that you can play with your child. Okay, so once again, it's called as the expansion game. So you must be thinking, what is the expansion game? So here, what you do is that uh, whatever the child speaks, like for example, uh, a child who's having a speech delay, okay? So he might be around like, uh, he or she might be around uh, two to two and a half years, but he's just saying in one word or two words maximum. Like for example, uh, want milk. Okay, so that's the only thing that he says. Now what you can do is that whatever is a child's thought, you try to expand on that thought. Like for example, uh, when they're saying want milk, you can say, oh, you want milk? Okay, so you want the milk is in the fridge. So that's how you expand that sentence. So when you expand that sentence, what happens is that the child understands, okay, so this is how I expand my language or this is how I expand my sentence. And also he will get, he will understand the need to communicate. That means, you know, if I want something, I have to ask or this is the way how I ask. Okay, so what happens with this game, with this expansion game is that the child's grammar improves, the child's vocabulary improves and also there is a great improvement in the expressive language of the child. And uh, please make sure that you do not have to do it in every thought that they give out. Like for example, each and every sentence that they say, you do not have to expand on it. But wherever you feel like it is necessary, wherever you feel like, yes, you want to improve the child's language, yes, you can add those important content in that message. And that is how the child will understand it. He will listen to it. You can keep repeating the important uh, concepts so that he understands better. And so obviously his expressive language will also improve. But make sure that you do not you know, overdo it. Okay, everything should be very consistent. Give it regular intervals. Okay, whenever you feel like you want to give the important information, give it at that particular time. But do not stress the child, do not pressurize the child. Okay, make it very easy for the child because our main aim is to make language understanding easy and to make language expression very easy. So focus on that and give consistent information. So I hope you understood about the third easy method. Now moving on to the next point. The next point is that uh, you have to create communication intent in the child or the need to communicate in the child. Okay, so many, uh, many times parents do this big mistake of not allowing their child to communicate for their needs. Okay, because basically what happens is that whenever they're infants or when they're very small children, uh, the only expression that they do is obviously cry. They cannot tell anything else. They cannot express themselves. So what you do is that mothers, they from that time onwards, they know, okay, so my child might be crying for this particular thing or my child might be crying for, you know, when she's hungry or when uh, she's sleepy. So even at that very small age, the child, the mother understands every need of the child. But what happens is this tries to continue even uh, you know when the child is about one and a half years or two years and all so that is a very big mistake the parents do okay you try to anticipate your child's needs and you do not allow them to communicate you do not allow them to ask for something that they need so that is one particular thing that is very important give your child the need to communicate or you know uh, uh, activity so that he can actually verbally respond to his uh, needs okay like for example if he wants something just by pointing you should not give it to him okay suppose he wants milk he just points to it you should not encourage that along with pointing allow him to verbally communicate like for example tell him you have to say i want milk or something like that so that he understands okay i need to verbally communicate to get my needs or i need to verbally communicate to get my wants so that has to be created in the child's mind so that is one easy method by which you can improve your child's expressive language so like that he understands that okay so this is the way how i need to communicate or this is the way how i need to express my needs so in that way you can slowly slowly start improving his language and communication so i hope you all understood about the fourth point now moving on to the fifth and the last tip in which you can improve your child's language 
Now, just imagine that your toddler has started speaking, or your child has started speaking. Okay, either it can be words, or it can be phrases, or it can be sentences, whatever. Okay, so once a child starts speaking, there are certain points that you, as parents or teachers or caregivers, have to take note, and that I'll be telling you right now. Okay, so the first thing is. Once a child is talking to you, make sure that he maintains that you maintain eye contact with the child. That is very important. Be very engaged with the child. Give your undivided attention to him or her. Do not try to divert the attention, okay? Because he needs to feel important or he needs to feel very wanted in the conversation. That is our main aim. So you know, keep giving him compliments, keep giving him praises. It can mean any way. You can either give verbal reinforcements or you can give edible reinforcements. Edible can be you can give him a chocolate or you know, small small those praises or accomplishments. For every accomplishment the child makes, even for the tiniest of the accomplishments, try to give him praises so that he feels very happy and motivated to even speak further, to even verbalize further. So that is very important. So keep uh, be very engaged with him. Give your undivided attention to him. Make him feel very wanted in the conversation. And also, whenever he is speaking, try to expand on it. Like for example, you feel like you know he needs to get more. Uh, you know he needs to get better on the language as well as the vocabulary. Slowly, you can try uh, expanding. You can give the expansion game to him. You can try playing it with him so that he understands the concept better. And hence, his expression will also improve. So these are the five easy methods by which your child can improve. His or her expressive language. Now let's move on to the summary of the five points that I told you. Okay, so the first point that was that I mentioned was to talk in a sing-song pattern. That's uh, the you know, uh, for example, rhymes and all that. So it captures the child's attention, and so that can improve the uh, in turn improve the expressive language of the child. Okay, now the second point that I talked about was how to make a live commentary or to give a commentary on whatever you're doing as a parent in the house in a daily situation, or it can be based on the objective desire of the child. So that is how you uh, can. That's the second way of improving a child's expressive language, giving a live commentary. Okay. Now the third thing is that expansion game. Okay, expansion game is whatever the child says, uh, be it you know in terms of words or phrases or sentences. Try to improve on the child's vocabulary and the child's grammar. So whatever the thought or the uh, the uh, the verbal thought that he has expressed, okay, try to improve upon that or try to expand upon that. So that is the third uh, method. Now the fourth method is that I talked about communication intent. How to create communication intent in your child so that he understands. Okay, so this is how I improve upon my grammar. This is how I improve upon my vocabulary, and in turn improve the expressive language. That's about creating communication intent. So parents, please make sure that your child needs to have a very good amount of communication intent so that he improves in his expressive language. And then finally. Uh, I talked about once the child starts speaking, or once the toddler starts speaking, be it in any method that is, it can be two words or it can be phrases or sentences, whatever it is. Once he starts speaking, uh, he should feel very wanted in the conversation. He should feel very important in the conversation. So for that, you please go down to his level. You know, make eye contact with him. Be very engaged with him. Okay, uh, talk to him properly and use very simple words and phrases. Give your full undivided attention to the child. Also, if you feel that he is speaking less amount of words, try to expand upon it. Okay, use lots of facial expressions, lots of facial gestures, and make him feel very wanted in the conversation. So that you know, these are all some important points by which you can actually improve your child's expressive language. And so for all this, you have to know that once understanding and once listening is involved. And obviously, the child's expressive language will also improve. So these are five easy methods by which your child can actually talk better in each developing stage. So I hope you understood about this video. I hope you found it very useful and informative. So if you have any queries, please feel free to comment uh, below. You can please mail to my mail ID, and uh, hope you'll be waiting for more videos in the future. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. There are a lot of people who are actually watching my videos. but not subscribing to it so please please do subscribe to my channel thank you and stay safe